What's up guys, this is Clay from Rule and Rain, and today we're going to look at how we made our version of Before the Throne. One with himself, I cannot die. My soul is purchased by his blood. So the first thing I had to decide when uh, writing this cover was what time signature we were going to do it in. So the original hymn is actually in 4-4. But we ended up doing it in 6-8. Um, it had a really cool feel to it and just went with it. Um, another kind of interesting thing about this one is often when we write music or covers, um, we'll find like a melody or a chorus or something that we really like and start with that when we're writing. Um, but this one, I actually just ended up writing from start to finish. Um, sounds kind of weird because that should be normal, but it's actually not. Um, so that was, that was kind of different with this one. Um, but it ended up working out well. I just kept adding to it and adding to it and adding to it and ended up with the full song. Um, so it started with me just playing these chords on a pad sound, um, to kind of figure out how I wanted the feel of the song to go. And it ended up staying in and um, becoming the intro and going throughout the first verse. And so that pad sound just sounds like this. <clears throat> so really simple, but it actually worked out pretty well. And then comes in the drums. So a lot of times we will recycle sounds. Um, which basically means like, for example, this drum kit is a sound we've used before in other songs, other projects. Um, but it was one of those things where I had a sound for like a snare or kind of a rim click in my head and I knew, oh, we had used this unreal acoustic, um, drum kit before for that sound. And so I went and found it and it was really easy. Um, threw some compression and reverb on it to fill the space a little more and just love that snare click sound um, in this drum beat. So here's that by itself. You can hear what I'm talking about. That right there. So that sound, like I said, we used it before, but it was perf perfect for this track also. Um... Then getting into the verse, the only things I really added along with the drums is um, some bass and then this kind of lead line, um, lead synth line in the verse. So it started with me basically just um, playing arpeggiated chords. And then I found this sound. It sounds like this. <laughs> And so I like that a lot, but I wanted it to be like a little more full, a little more aggressive. Um, and so I then I found this sound, which is like a little more gritty and distorted. It sounds like this. And then I just layered them. Um, they're playing the same thing, but together it made a really cool, more full sound. So together it sounds like this. And that goes throughout the whole verse. Before the throne of God above, I have a strong... Okay, and then um, <clears throat> we get to the first interlude. So this interlude is kind of one that sets up the rest of the interludes or the hooks for the song. Because I think the main, like, catchy... Um, part of the song besides the vocal melody is this thing I call like a vocal hook <clears throat> which is essentially making a vocal sound a synthesizer um, I'll show you that later but we didn't use that in this first interlude <clears throat> as a kind of a way to set it up for the next interludes you'll see what I mean so for this interlude 
Um, we just added some more drums with some delay on them. Again, kind of make the song um, a little bit bigger and fill the space a little bit. So those drums we added sounds like this. Okay, so that, um, and then we had, this was kind of the lead line for the interlude here. And again, <laughs> Antarctic Sun here, um, another recycled sound. I've used that one a bunch. Normally it kind of is like a, a background layering type of synth but it actually worked out really well um, as the lead line for this first interlude um, with the vibe of this track. Um, so it just went with it. So here's the first interlude a little bit. Cool. And then we get to the second verse. Um, nothing changes really <clears throat> from the first verse to the second verse except I keep these uh, delayed, um, bigger sounding drums going throughout the verse. Otherwise we pretty much just have pad, bass, and drums. So then we get to the second interlude, which is kind of what I was talking about with the vocal hook. Um, it's like a, so <laughs> I really like writing pop music and so when thinking of how to turn a hymn into a pop song um, one of my favorite things when it is done well is using these vocal hooks so basically what it is is just um, just one note from a voice singing like uh and then <laughs> putting effects on it and then putting it into my keyboard and playing it to make a melody um, so I'll give it to you by itself. So that was just a vocal sample, like that sound, um, that I found online, threw it into my keyboard and started messing around with melody lines and found that, um, and that kind of became the hook for these interludes. Then on top of that, the only other thing I added in this instrumental was um, this big synth, almost like EDM sounding um, synth to kind of, again, give it some more drive and um, fill the space a little bit. And it worked really well with that vocal hook also. So here's that. just feels like one of those synths that you'd hear at a big like EDM festival or something um, so yeah I really liked it with this vocal line and then with all the tracks and it starts to feel like a pop song okay so then for this verse um, we kind of, so we brought it way back dynamically, um, to set up for that big line that we repeat, um, the King of glory and grace. Um, so just kind of continually building through this verse to get to that moment. Um, so it starts with just that, um, lead line from the first interlude, There's a this right here. Antarctic Sun. <laughs> the great unchangeable. And then it just keeps building. So we add the a couple snares right here to kind of transition of to the grace, next line. The and add bass. Of glory and, of grace, the king of glory and, of and then we get the full drums back in the here. King of glory and of grace, the king of glory. And then we're back into a big celebrating interlude. Um, so what I like to do is try and make 
every verse a, at least a little bit different from the verse before it or interlude before it or whatever it is. Um, I just think that it it can keep your choruses from getting um, kind of stale, for example, or your verse from getting stale or whatever it is again. Um, so for this one, you know, I guess for the past few, I had been adding a lot of different things, but we had already had kind of a big interlude um, right before that quieter verse. So for this one, the only thing I added um, was this shaker sound. Sounds like this. It's like really quiet, hardly noticeable, but you'd be surprised like how much something small like that can change the feel of a chorus or differentiate it from the previous chorus. Um, so all together with that sounds like this. And then the last verse we hit kind of the the climax of the song the biggest part um and it's just with how the song works out lyrically this last verse is kind of just a celebration of um the life we have in christ and so to kind of resemble that celebration that excitement um, we changed the feel from a halftime feel that it has been for the whole song to a full-time feel. So um, let me see if I can show you this with the drums. So the drums earlier are sounding like this. But then once we hit this last verse, it picks up to full-time and sounds like this. Okay, so that that like just makes that last verse so much more um, fun and exciting, really. Um, and so we get Drew singing that verse. I also added some percussion to kind of do the same thing, fill it out, make it a little bigger. Um, we have some tambourine and bongos. So again, not super noticeable really, unless you're listening for it, but subconsciously you'll kind of feel a change and feel more energy because of little things like a tambourine. Um, so here's that verse. Oh, forgot something, can't forget the claps. The claps make, everyone loves the claps. I don't know. It just brings that energy again. So here's that just a pretty normal like synthetic clap sound so again adds to the fullness of this last verse but my life is with Christ on high with Christ my savior and my God with Christ my savior and my God and then it's just another interlude with that vocal hook to finish the song Okay, so that is how we made Before the Throne. Um, just a quick glimpse at some of the th things we did, the decisions we made. Um, let us know what you think of these videos again. Um, and if you have any questions about this song, um, feel free to let us know in the comments. Um, but we are just, we're so thankful for all the support we've gotten. Um, really appreciate it. So. Thanks again for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.